the rare inside look at the F-16. It's the coveted fighter jet that has been at the center of President Vladimir Zelensky's request from Western allies. I got to see and feel their raw power and capability as I flew with the famed Thunderbirds. This is an F-16 fighter jet. They've been used by the U.S. Air Force since the late 1970s. They're fast as lightning. Ready? All right. Yes. And I had the chance to fly with the best of the best. The Thunderbirds. It's been 70 years that we've been doing this. We get to demonstrate what it is that uh, fighter pilots across the, uh, the U.S. do every single day, day in and day out. These days, F-16s are the jet everyone seems to be talking about. We should sell them the F-16 jets. Ukrainian F-16 pilots. The F-16. The F-16s. The F-16s. F-16. Ukrainian pilots were supposed to begin training on jets like this sometime this month. But there have been problems. Hey, I'll send these to you afterwards. Major Jeffrey Downey, Simmer, flies F-16s almost every day. The G-forces uh, that are exerted on your body are immense. You know, you've got the blood rushing from your head to your feet, and you're having to strain to keep the blood up in your head so that you don't pass out. Simmer is part of the U.S. Air Force's Thunderbirds. In peacetime, they're known for dazzling crowds with the strength, agility, and speed of F-16s. Why are F-16s so esteemed around the globe? Yeah, so the F-16 is an incredible platform at what it does. It's a multi-role fighter, so it does air-to-air -air and air-to-ground, suppression of enemy air defenses. It's got it all. Super maneuverable, extreme amount of thrust that it's got, and it really is the backbone of the United States Air Force and, and our military. We wanted to see for ourselves, so I suited up. Applying pressure to the front of the mask. I'm got hours of training. Goddess. Go. <laughs> Make that noise. <laughs> And crawled in. Mask up and down. So go ahead and put your mask up. For the flight of a lifetime. The speed. The seamless turns. It's hard to describe. Ukrainian officials thought they'd have pilots training on F-16 sometime this month, but it has not happened. A spokesperson with Ukraine's Air Force says the first group of pilots will begin training in Denmark. The training might not be complete before summer 2024, according to a U.S. official who spoke to NBC News on the condition of anonymity. They say that's because Ukraine only recently submitted names of pilots who will undergo training, and over half need English training first. The delays have confused and frustrated Ukrainian officials, as well as rank-and-file military members, who spoke to NBC News privately. <laughs> But Ukraine still believes those fighter jets are vital for the country's defense. U.S. military analysts agree. What do you think of these delays? Do they make sense to you or do you think it's frustrating as well? Well, I know it's frustrating, but a couple of points here. You have to have English proficiency in order to fly a U.S. aircraft. The radar systems, the missile system, all in English. So you don't think a possible summer 2024 delay for F-16 training will hamper the counteroffensive? It is. It's already hampering it. One thing is for sure. They call these advanced fighter jets for a reason. For more on the impact these critical F-16s could have on the war in Ukraine, I want to bring in retired Army Colonel Jack Jacobs. Colonel Jacobs, these F-16s have been the ask from President Zelensky, right? He thinks they are vital for Ukraine's defense. Do you agree? Well, they certainly make a big contribution to whatever uh, offensive the Ukrainians are undertaking now and will undertake in the future. At close air support, they can... Uh, uh, protect uh, uh, defenseless troops on the ground from a great distance. It's a multi-role fighter, as you heard. It can do lots and lots of things. But we have balked for a long while at sending them to Ukraine because we were worried about the loss of F-16s over territory that's controlled by Russia. Uh, that, that argument has largely subsided. We've convinced our allies that they could send their F-16s but you heard from General Twitty and others, there are problems here because the Ukrainians need to find pilots who are proficient in English. It's taken them a long, long time to do that. And on top of all that, it takes about a year to take a trained pilot 
and turn him in, into an F-16 trained pilot, uh, and all that backed up with English proficiency, it means that it's unlikely these are going to be able to be delivered next year. Hmm. I mean, this is a big delay we're talking about, right? From training will likely start in August 2023 to probably not until the summer of 2024. Maybe it seems even beyond that. A Ukrainian counteroffensive is well underway right now. Is summer of 2024 or beyond going to be too late to matter? Well, it's interesting. At the beginning of this war, uh, a lot of people, including Russia, thought it would be over very quickly. But a lot of other people knew then, and it's clear now, that it's a, it's a war of attrition. The Ukrainian offensive now looks like it's not making very much progress. Uh, there are a couple of reasons for this, but not the least significant of them is that the Ukrainians are probing the front lines of the Russians to see where the weaknesses are before they actually make a thrust uh, at a time uh, of the Ukrainians choosing. Uh, the second problem for the Ukrainians is that they need ammunition and lots of it. As a matter of fact, a cogent argument could be made that they need lots more artillery and rocket ammunition, lots more of that than they need uh, F-16s. F F-16s will be helpful mm -hmm. to be sure, but the battle is on the ground. It's an old style slugfest and the Ukrainians need they need lots and lots of ammunition, but particularly indirect fire missiles and artillery, Ellison. All right. Retired Colonel Jack Jacobs, thank you so much. We appreciate your insight as always. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.